2011 has been a year of taking care of people for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. From helping those impacted by disasters, to supporting job creation, to construction for our armed forces, the Corps made serving people a priority. We affect uh, the lives uh, and livelihood of nearly every citizen in our country. Tornadoes, floods, and hurricanes devastated communities and lives in unprecedented storm events this year. The Corps deployed more than 1,500 people, helping those affected by 84 disasters across the country. This year, the Corps served an important role in helping reshape how the Army trains, deploys, and lives. Base realignment and closure brought military construction to communities in 43 states. The Corps executed $11 billion in the largest construction program since World War II. These projects energize local economies from coast to coast. Combined with American Recovery and Reinvestment Act projects, $5 billion worth of contracts were awarded to small business. This year, the Corps also met its commitment to the people of Greater New Orleans and Southeast Louisiana. The hurricane storm damage risk reduction system includes more than 133 miles of strengthened levees, flood walls, gates, and one of the largest surge barriers in the world. The structures form an integrated system, stronger and more resilient than at any time in its history. <laughs> Abroad, the Corps deployed more than a thousand civilians helping the people of war-torn countries rebuild their homeland. And so I'm extremely proud of our expeditionary capability that allows us to take the technical expertise to our partners overseas. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will continue to provide value to our nation uh, today and well into the future. Mary Cochran, Washington.